the key thing, again, for monetary policy is preserving the value of money. In other words, preserving property. And property is the key to economic freedom. If you don't own property that, ha that uh, has stable and reliable value that government can't fiddle with through the central bank, then your economic freedom is dramatically uh, reduced. But I do want to reinforce one of the things you said, and this is hugely, hugely important. Perhaps the single most destructive economic disease a nation can face is inflation out of control. It is devastating to the economy and ultimately leads to privation, uh, hunger, hopelessness, uh, and perhaps even worse as a society descends into chaos. It leads to a massive exodus of citizens. The people here know about uh, the folks fleeing from Zimbabwe. The monetary policy here in South Africa now uh, looks pretty good and pretty stable. Beware. For a politician in trouble, a quick fix is running the printing presses. But I do have something to say on the huge dangers you're facing, particularly if the South African economy continues to struggle. This is the quickest way and the most effective way a politician can destroy your economy. Uh, so stand on guard.